here welcome back to my channel and welcome to this very 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 casual hawaiian vacation unboxing i'm gonna be sharing just some miscellaneous things that i got for hawaii with you guys from everything from travel essentials to accessories clothing new bikinis all of that good stuff and just a quick disclaimer here if you guys are hearing what sounds like wind you guys are right next to the fan it's really really hot so i apologize about that but i do kind of need the fan on me because i will literally melt on camera if i don't have that on but for anyone who's a regular watcher of my videos but you don't necessarily watch my vlogs welcome to my living room like i said today we're keeping it casual we actually don't have any lighting it's just all natural lighting i barely put any makeup on i put on some jewelry so it looks like i tried but other than that keeping it super cash. But before I dig into everything that I got, I just want to welcome anyone who is new to my channel. My name's Sarah. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe and join my little YouTube family. Also hit the bell so you get notified of any time I have a new video. And for everyone watching this, please take a moment to like this video and also leave me a comment. Let me know what items you liked or what essentials you like to bring with you whenever you go on vacation. But for right now, we'll go ahead and get into what I got for vacation. So this is very, very much a collective haul. I have things from basically everywhere. I've got Zara, Nordstrom, Misguided, Black Bow Swim, which is like a brand that I've always wanted to try. I got some skin stuff, some new balances, of course things from Amazon because Amazon. Stuff from Forever 21, a new lack of color hat. So a bunch of good stuff in here, but we'll go ahead and like dig into the two that are down here that wouldn't fit on the table so the first thing that i got are a new pair of hiking shoes and i did put up a few polls on my instagram if you guys follow me on there you might have seen them but i had a few polls tell me choose between certain things and i'll give some background as to like which things i went with that people chose or like why i didn't choose what the majority might have voted for but the first ones are these new balance shoes so i don't hike normally but we are going to be doing some hiking in Kauai. and for sure i know that the terrain is probably going to be much difficult than any hikes i do here it's pretty dry in southern california it's more dusty than muddy that kind of stuff so usually just like regular tennis shoes are fine but for Kauai, i wanted something that was a little bit more designed for different types of terrain so i researched a few like affordable hiking shoes and i found this pair from new balance i was trying to decide between this one and then there was a different pair and though the different pair ended up winning the poll the reason why i didn't go with it is because we had to end up changing the trails that we are going on since my mom is going to be hiking with us and she can't do anything too strenuous so the paths we're going on are going to be a lot muddier and what everyone voted for were the pink shoes and unfortunately those are a little bit more porous and they actually have a little bit of suede on them so i just thought it would not be a good idea to a wear pink shoes where the mud's going to cover it up and stuff and b wear something with suede on it in muddy conditions so i decided not to get that one and i went with these ones from new balance instead these ones are their trail running shoes and they're a pair of black trail shoe so it's basically a running shoe that has like more traction on it just a little bit more technology to help you be able to grasp different terrains a lot better i really like the design on this i like the fact that it's black white and gray because especially the other reason why i decided to go with these is because i can see myself shooting these as opposed to the pink ones i would really only wear them to hike but these ones i would be willing to style and shoot so i was just gonna get a lot more value out of them and i did read the reviews on these and a lot of people were saying to size up a half size which i did i went ahead and i went with a six and these fit perfectly they feel really really comfortable i do need to break them in so i think i'm gonna wear them to the gym a couple of times just so that i've like walked in them and moved around in them a little bit but i'm super super excited about these and i just can't wait to hike in them i've only been talking a few minutes but my mouth is already dry so just got a quick drink like i said we're keeping this video very casual but the next item is from Amazon. I'm not going in any particular order, by the way, so I'm just kind of grabbing boxes as they're available. This one is actually a new beach bag, and this was another one that everyone voted on. I had you guys vote between a palm print or a print that said beach please, and I'm so happy that beach please won out. Like, I love this bag. Isn't this so cute? I love the black and white, how simple it is. And I love the brown leather accents on this. I think that this is just like a very classy beach bag, something that I would definitely be down to just shoot in general. I know I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of this. I also really like the fact that this buckles up 
because I actually plan on using this as my carry-on this time around I just figured I would consolidate things since we are traveling with my family and we're renting cars and stuff Trevor and I are gonna share the big luggage and then we're each gonna bring like one big carry-on so I decided to go with this because look at how much freaking room is in there I mean it's absolutely huge I'm pretty positive I'll be able to fit everything I need to in here but it has a couple pockets inside right here like for your cell phone wallet keys whatever and then it has a big pocket in the back just for a little bit more storage and then it also has one on the outside back right here again just like more storage which is perfect i was really glad that it had this because like i like to leave my id and my boarding pass really accessible so i like that it has this little pocket right here now also too it has some side pockets here if you guys want to take like some water or some drinks with you to the beach or again you know since i'm using this for travel i can put like my cell phone in there so that it's super easy to access and then if you guys are wondering no i haven't gotten this nail fixed i just haven't had the time but we will get it fixed i promise anyways moving on i'm going to do zara next you guys this item so i decided last minute today actually that i wanted a bum bag for hawaii and i was trying to find like any place that was going to be able to ship it out quickly to me and i was having trouble finding anything that i liked so i decided to actually go online and check stores that were nearby that i could go to see if there was anything online that i liked so that i could go check out the store to see if they had it and i found this bum bag on zara and it said that the location by me had limited stock available so i went over there and i guess there was like some kind of crazy sale going on because i'll put a picture of the lineup on the screen it was insane i walked in there the line is literally to the door and the whole entire store is in shambles there was no organization like at all it just like looks like everyone just dumped everything around the store so i was like okay I'll do one lap. If I can't find it, I'm just going to go because this store is absolutely bonkers today. And as I was exiting, I saw the bum bag that I wanted and there was one left. So as much as I didn't want to wait in a 40 minute line to buy one bag, I just kind of felt like that was a sign that I should go ahead and get it. So I got it, obviously, but it is this bag. I'm really excited about this. I never thought that I would be like the type to want a bum bag, but thinking about it for a vacation, it makes sense, especially as I'm like going through the airport. Cause if I wanted to, you know, I could have this bag with me with most of my big major stuff. And then I can put the bum bag around me to be able to like put my camera away really quickly or my phone or stuff like that and then once i get through security and we're boarding the plane this is small enough i can just like stuff it in this bag and they're not going to count it as an extra bag so that's mainly what i wanted it for i don't plan on wearing this around my waist i'm just like not that type of person but i could also definitely see me using this for like any of our excursions and maybe even on a hike or two but okay there we go that's the length that i like so perfect just Sling it right across like that and like i said i can just throw my camera in there when i'm not using it and it's nice and secure and safe next up we'll get into the skims bag right here i got like just a few things so the first one is this bralette that i haven't even opened i know most unboxings it's like you're unboxing it for the first time but i whenever i get stuff in like to check my stuff right away because i've run into too many times where an order of mine is missing something or it's the wrong size or wrong item so i always check my orders right away when i get them but for skims i was confident that they got my order right so the first thing that i got is this bralette i just thought that the, oh my god it looks so tiny but skim stretches a lot so i'm not that concerned but i got this bralette and this is in slate it's a ribbed bralette high neck and i thought that this was just going to be like a really good basic to bring on the trip in case i need an extra top and i like the fact that you know it looks like a crop top so i can totally wear it as a crop top but it's supportive enough that i don't have to wear a bra underneath because we all know i'm not a fan of wearing bras i just like i don't feel comfortable in a boob cage i just don't i also got a couple of masks from skims oh my god how many did i get wait did i get something else i think i did yes okay just kidding i got a couple of masks i'll open up the black one but they're both the exact same thing but here is the skims mask i don't want to put it on because i have makeup on but 
I've just like heard a lot of people talk about how comfortable skims masks are and since we're gonna be flying on an airplane for like five and a half six hours I just wanted to get a mask that was gonna be really really comfortable to wear so I got this one in two different colors just because we are also island hopping so if a mask gets dirty or something I have an extra one so I got in this one and the chocolate which I'll put up on the screen the reason why I don't want to open up this other chocolate one is because this one is for my sister but you guys get the idea from the black one it's just like a simple mask but the material that they use on it is really really stretchy and super super breathable so I think that this is gonna be like the perfect mask to wear for like a long flight then I lied I did get one more thing just so that I could get free delivery I got a little scrunchie it's just a chocolate scrunchie nothing exciting oh this one's kind of stiff so it's not like a comfortable scrunchie, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to have a scrunchie on hand in case you just need to grab one. Next, let's go into the Nordstrom bag. If you guys watch my vlogs, you might have already seen this, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you guys again. I got a new pair of aviators because A, most of my aviators are pretty thrashed, and B, I wanted another pair of sunglasses that were relatively inexpensive, and I laugh when I say that because these were actually $89. But if you guys don't know or didn't see my most recent sunglasses video, I am a designer sunglasses fiend. So my definition of an affordable sunglass is very different from a lot of people, but still. I wanted sunglasses that were like at least under $100 that were still gonna be really good quality. So I found this pair from Lispec. First off, I really love the case on this. I like the little pouch here. I don't know what I would really put in that, but it's nice that there's extra storage on the case, but I really like it. It's like canvas and then it just pops open when you squeeze. But the main reason why I like it is because it's nice and compact, but it still feels like sturdy enough that's going to protect the sunglasses. So the style that I got are the Hercules aviators and they're just a pair of square aviators. They're silver, they've got a dark lens, and I really, really love them. I was really worried about the square lens for an aviator because I've never done that before, but I'm super into it. I'm really, really glad I went with them. Truthfully, on the polls, everyone voted for the more traditional aviators, but I went with these because they're different from anything that I have, and honestly, at the end of the day, it's you know my money, so I just felt like these were really pulling my attention more, so I went with them, and I don't regret it. I'm super happy with these. And then also inside it does come with a low lens wipe in case you guys were wondering. I'm not going to be misguided quite yet. Let me put it with the Forever 21 stuff because I'll actually try this stuff on for you guys. I'm going to try it on. I'll save. Same with the black bow. So we'll put this to the side. We have another Amazon order. I'm just making sure I blacked out my address. I've ordered so much Amazon in the last few months I can't remember what I have everywhere. But I think this is just one thing these are packing cubes something that I have desperately been needing and have been fighting getting I don't know why I just like I always felt like I didn't need packing cubes but especially since Trevor and I are going to be sharing our luggage packing cubes just makes sense because I bring a lot of clothes because I'm also going to be shooting a lot of content I have like a couple brands that I'm working with while I'm in Hawaii so I need to bring more stuff than the average person would so packing cubes are just like a great way to keep everything organized and also keep it all consolidated the color that i got mine in is this really really pretty kind of like slate blue gray and it comes with i believe five so the outside is obviously one type of packing cube you open it up i also really like the fact that it has like the mesh top so that you know in case something's wet you can let it breathe but then you can also see through and see exactly what each cube has in it but also comes with a little shoe case this one also comes with a couple of little clear acrylic travel toiletry bags and then it also comes with two more actual cubes right here these ones are obviously a little bit smaller and these are ones that i would probably use for the many 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 bikinis that i'm bringing socks underwear things like that but if you open it up that's about how big it goes and then i also like that these packing cubes have a little handle on them i think that that's really handy oh and actually there's one more just kidding we have more so we have another big one same size as this one so actually really good deal on this especially since i just realized that there was one more than i thought there was they have a ton of other colors and i will have it linked down below obviously i will have everything linked down below then before we get to the clothing 
get into the hat that I got. Was it necessary for me to buy a lack of color hat for this trip? No, absolutely not. It, it was not. They are expensive. You're gonna spend over $100. This particular hat was way more than I wanted to spend. It was over $100, but I feel like it was very worth it, especially once I got it in. I'm very, very happy with it. I purchased mine through Evolve, but you can obviously purchase it directly through lack of color. And I did have a poll on this. I had you guys decide between more of like a raffia straw hat and then more of a traditional kind of palma hat and the palma hat won out this is the wide brim palma hat it's like a tightly woven straw hat it's really really beautiful super sturdy i'm really excited for this i think that this is one of my favorite purchases in this haul i'm not going to put it on because i do have my hair up in a claw clip but i will put a picture of me wearing it on the screen somewhere it's just honestly the perfect vacation hat i have zero regrets spending the money i did to buy this hat and also too why this was a really good investment is because of the sizing on it so i got mine in a small medium and you guys can see the head is pretty small and I do have a small head so it fits me nice and snug and that also has the elastic to make sure it's super secure and this is really important if you're taking your hat on like a beach vacation because there's like ocean breezes and stuff and especially if you're gonna wear this on like a boat or something you want this to be really secure because you don't want it to blow away so I am totally willing to pay extra money for a hat that's designed to stay on my head during those kind of travel activities so yeah that is the wide brim palma hat and you guys will be seeing this in Hawaii and also in Cancun so again it was worth the investment because I have at least two trips that I can wear this on oh and then also when my cousin gets married in Tulum in December 2022 so once again I am justified in investing in this let's move along into all of the clothing that I got the first one is from Black Bow I have been wanting to order from Black Bow for so so long but i've never paid more than maybe like 40 dollars for a bikini so it was really really hard to convince myself to pull the trigger on buying a more expensive bikini but i decided to go ahead and treat myself for this trip and this was another poll that i put up and most people voted for the like blue hawaiian print one and the reason why i ended up not going with that one and i went with the blue and orange splash instead is because the blue hawaiian print one is just so specific to Hawaii like I feel like I would buy that swimsuit and I would never wear it again I would just feel like it's a little bit too kitschy to wear anywhere else like out here in Newport Beach and stuff versus the orange and blue one is something that I would definitely wear out on the beach here or in Mexico or something like that so it was just a better investment for my money so that is the one that I went with here it is for the top this is I believe is the willow top it say on here i think it's the willow top or the bottoms are the willow bottoms i can't remember <laughs> and it doesn't actually say so i will put a label somewhere on the screen of the style of top but anyways moving right along this is more of like a bra top which is something that i've been really gravitating towards this year in swim but it's got like the cups and then it clips in the back and i got mine in a size large because according to their chart i'm a 34d and for that size they suggested the large and then for the bottoms i got once again i can't remember the name and i wish that they would put the name of the style somewhere on the suit or at least on the tag but it says nothing but these are essentially like their cheeky briefs but before i tried that on for you guys i'll also show you guys the set that i got i more got this more for the shipping i don't know if i'm gonna wear it in hawaii i'm gonna bring it just like for an extra outfit but i don't have this like plan to wear as an actual outfit but this was on sale and does this one say the name of the style no nothing says the name of the style i got this set from them these are like ribbed biker shorts in this like nude beige color then this top is really cute it's very very unique i would wear this with a pair of denim shorts but it's this crop top made out of that same ribbed material and that has this like really cool twist in the front so i thought that this would be a really cute airport look but i already have three airport looks planned so this is like an extra airport look or just like an extra look if i want to be comfy but let me go ahead and try on both of these for you guys so here is the bikini like i said i got the top in a large and it fits perfectly i think definitely if you have a fuller chest go with a large because i don't have like a crazy full chest but i do have a pretty full chest so i can't imagine anyone even like one cup size up 
fitting into anything smaller than a large but the bottoms I got a medium I can't remember if I told you guys that I'm like torn on this because I actually do like how they fit but I do feel like they could fit a little bit looser but I feel like if I had gone up to a large it may be too loose you know what I mean especially once the suit gets wet because fabric will expand once it's wet I feel like walking around dry I kind of would have preferred the large but also too I question how well the large would sit up on my hips like this because I like my bikini to sit really high and I feel like a large maybe would have like slipped down a bit too much so honestly the medium was probably the right choice I just feel a little bit uncomfortable because I've been sizing up in my bikinis so much lately but yeah I really like this bikini I think it's super flattering really really cute and I'm really really happy that I did invest in a nicer swimsuit here is the set I don't think I mentioned to you guys I got a medium and I had been trying to go back and forth between a medium or a large I feel like the medium was the right call and I honestly was actually really scared about these bottoms because I do have a little bit more of a pooch on my lower belly you know everyone's body's different and I was scared about these accentuating it too much but I actually don't mind it's actually not too bad and then I also really love this color but the thing I really love is this top I think that it's just so cute and so unique the design of it and actually I was worried about this color a little bit on me but since I'm extra tan right now I feel like it just really really pops against my tan so I like this a lot Definitely just gonna bring this as an extra outfit. I don't know whether or not I'll wear it. You'll have to watch the Hawaii vlogs to find out. But either way, I do really like this and I am really glad that I got it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you guys there because I'm just gonna do everything try on style the rest of the way. So next up, we're gonna do misguided. I got two things, well technically three, one's a set. And this misguided order and everything is fire. This is from the Delaney Childs and misguided edit. And all the pieces were freaking amazing you'll see when i put it on they look so good just wanted to give you a warning that everything in this bag is just amazing okay get ready for this first set because it's incredible are you ready boom i love this set so much i posted this on instagram on my stories when i first got it tried it on and everybody loved it it's so so good so i got mine in a size six both the top and the bottom and they fit flawlessly I was really worried about that because with misguided sizing it can just be very very hit or miss but these both fit so perfectly I love it so this top is like this crop top and it has this little like crisscross action I don't know how well you guys can see that up against my necklaces but it like crosses around my neck and then this skirt is probably like one of my favorite skirts ever skirts are like really hard for me because i feel like most of the time they accentuate my pooch but i feel like this one is like ruched in the right places it's like the perfect length i really really love the slit and by the way this is false this is just like for decoration you can't like cinch the slit up higher or lower it just sits wherever it sits but i just think that this set is so perfect it's incredible i love it just misguided and delaney killed it because i like never want to take this off Next is this green top and I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's very confusing to put on if you buy it you'd understand what I mean it just it looks very confusing the way that it sits versus how it like is supposed to end up on your body but honestly once you put it on like wowza I love this top I mean it's such a perfect kind of like dressier top for a tropical kind of vacation it's like a bikini top but elevated i would really love this with you know a pair of denim shorts maybe white denim shorts or something or even like i have those nasty gal long line dress shorts that would be really really cute with this but i am obsessed with this top i think that it's so so cute so dreamy i love the color and the material on it is kind of like a ribbed material so it's like very very comfortable and i got mine in a size six it fits perfectly it actually like has like a zipper in the back if you want to like take it off that way but i've just found that it's actually easier to go ahead and just pull it on overhead and then lastly is my forever 21 order right here just like i did with the misguided one i'll try on each piece for you and i just also realized that probably looks really weird a uh, little background as to why our couch is set up like a bed and I realized I should have cleaned that up before I started filming. Trevor injured his arm so I've been sleeping on the couch with Spartacus so that we don't hit him or anything in the middle of the night because it was a really bad injury. I don't know if we're going to show you on the vlog but it was really really bad so I've been nervous to sleep in the bed with him because I didn't want to like roll over and hit his arm and like make him be in immense agony so 
that's what that is. That's my temporary bed until his arm heals a little bit more. But anyways, let me go ahead and get into the first item here from Forever 21. This first item is a bikini. First off, it's like this yellow tiger print, which I thought was really, really cute. I got it in a medium and I feel like I probably could have done the large. I mean, the top fits actually really perfectly, but the bottoms are just like a touch snugger than I prefer, but you know, they're not going anywhere. They're gonna stay up. And then the back is really cheeky. There's just like a little peak, but I do like this bikini. I'm not gonna bother with going to see if I can get a new size in it. I'm just gonna live with it because you know what? Love your body. I'm obsessed with it. I didn't realize I was gonna like this as much as I do, even with the bottoms not fitting me ideally. I just think the tiger print is so fun. I love the yellow on it really really cute something different because most of the bikinis that i've bought for this trip are just like they definitely have more of a tropical feel and i feel like this one is fun because it's like very very different and then the next item that i got is a cover-up and it's this crochet cover-up this is the only kind of sarong that i got for this trip and i'm really really love it it just kept popping up on my targeted ads on facebook so i finally gave in and got it this is actually what sparked this particular forever 21 order but i just think it's so cute it's so perfect for hawaii i love the fringe on it i love the crochet something a little bit different than most sarongs that you see around and i'm so glad that i bought it because i'm definitely gonna be wearing this with a lot of my bikinis for sure next i have this tank top this is a deaf leopard tank top if you guys know i have like the deaf leopard oversized tee but this is kind of like a cut off tank top version of it but i really like this as just like a casual kind of like throw it on top i was actually thinking of this top over that bikini i think that those two would look so cute together because they both got that more like rock and roll kind of a feel but yeah i love the design on this i like the fact that it's white it has like a very big arm opening which i like because it just makes it feel a little bit casual you get like a touch bit of side boob with it but yeah just a good basic to just have on the trip to throw on if I need another top. Then the last item that I got is a sweatshirt. You guys may have already seen this if you've been watching my channel a bit. I got this little distressed Marvin the Martian gray hoodie. I just think that this would be like perfect to just, you know, wear on the beach if we go for like a night swim, just throw it on over my bikini or just, you know, super comfy to wear in our room because my husband likes to turn the AC up really, really high in hotel rooms. So I will definitely need a sweatshirt at least for that. And I just thought the Marvin the Martian was really, really cute. And it's just a super comfy kind of chill piece. All right, you guys, well, that's gonna be it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoy this very casual video. Let me know if you guys want more like these. And sorry, I got he's fidgeting back there but yeah let me know if you guys want more of these very casual videos please don't forget to like and comment and then also subscribe if you are not already i have a ton more videos coming up based around hawaii and then the hawaii vlogs themselves but if you want to make sure you see my bikini comparisons video how i pack my carry-on styling outfits for hawaii get ready with me in hawaii all of that good stuff make sure that you are subscribed those are videos that i for sure have coming up on my channel but anyways i'm gonna get going i have a ton to clean up after unboxing all of this stuff so i love you guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys again very soon in my next one bye